Another huge spike in new COVID-19 cases here in San Diego County. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for the 10 o'clock news. I'm Marcella Lee and I'm Jesse Pagan. Tonight, county health officials are reporting just more than 14,000 new confirmed cases. That's the most we've seen in the past eight days as cases started trending down under 10,000. Just under 30% of all tests are coming back positive. The hospitalization rate, however, does seem to be slowing down a bit. 14 more COVID patients were admitted to the hospital, bringing that total to just over 1300. 18 of those were admitted into intensive care, pushing that number over 200. Six more deaths were also reported today. Despite today's spike, researchers at UC San Diego say the measurements for COVID-19 in wastewater, they are trending down in San Diego County. Yeah, the latest numbers show a 20% drop in Omicron concentration over the last two weeks. CBS 8's LaMonica Peters talked to one of the researchers to find out what this all could mean. The highest level of Omicron concentration ever seen in wastewater measurements was earlier this month, but today researchers say that number is decreasing and that's a positive sign in the right direction. Researchers at UC San Diego say lower levels of the Omicron variant are being detected in wastewater, despite the rise of COVID-19 cases. On Wednesday, San Diego County health officials reported a 29% increase in new cases since last week. If you see a peak in wastewater, you know that um, the clinical or the hospitalization peak is going to come soon within the next week or two. But if it starts going down, that's also a good sign saying that maybe Omicron or whichever variant has peaked. UC San Diego uses robotic samplers to measure the virus concentration at the Point Loma Wastewater Treatment Plant. It serves about 2.3 million people or nearly two thirds of the residents in San Diego County. We use magnetic particles, we add it to our sewage. So what these tiny um, magnetic particles do is they go stick on only to the virus. After extracting the magnetic particles from urine and stool, the particles are sequenced to see which variant is most prevalent. In the last month, 95% of the variant discovered was Omicron, and the remaining 5% was the Delta variant. The results can serve as an early warning about changes in COVID-19 caseloads in the community. The good thing about wastewater is, in a lot of areas where you don't have enough testing or you, know, you just don't have the resources to test every person every day, you can use wastewater um, as a passive surveillance tool and only test when you see a positive in the wastewater. Even though the Omicron variant is decreasing in wastewater measurements, Karthikeyan says people still need to wash their hands, wear a mask, and get vaccinated to stay as safe as possible. 